Yo, you know what it is, man. Cortez, man, listen, man. Let's cut right to the chase. I see everybody talking about this app subscription through caffeine for the event. I see people were complaining about Remy's pay-per-view stream. I see a whole bunch of stuff going on about how battlers or how leagues are making their money. There's a lot of opinions on it. There's a lot of different point of views on it too. And then, you know, it just, it, 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 it all ties into how can this culture grow? End of the day, that's what it is. It's tied into how can this culture grow? How can this culture expand? And the talent can make millions of dollars the way people feel like we should be compensated and the same way the leagues can make money. Me being in this shit forever, I will tell y'all right now, that has always been the issue. If, if one side is going to make money, the other side is. And if they pay all the battlers top notch, there's going to be no... No revenue to make back for the league. You know, they're taking a loss. And then it, and then battlers feel underpaid and they don't perform. It's always back and forth, back and forth. Me, dealing with a lot of leagues, and me also have experimented different ways to make money with damn near every league. Like, me and Marv One was for a YouTube purchase. That was the first thing that anyone ever had where you can try to purchase a specific battle. And it was through YouTube. Me and Marv ain't know nothing about that. When that came out, you damn sure we asked questions about it. Why? It's not just because, you know, oh, you know, y'all eating and nothing like that. I don't even think that was the issue because we were so new in the game. We kind of understood, you know what I mean? There's certain things you're going to take an L on. But we at least wanted the knowledge on it. At least I did, you know. I don't remember how Marv had, you know, how he felt. But I wanted to know, okay... How do you do this? You know, you, you 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 buy something on YouTube. I thought YouTube was free. It's all these different things. You find out about it. I don't think the culture was ready for that at that time. Because they discontinued it after. Cool. You know, pay-per-views. Once the pay-per-view started, like, really selling and, and got structured a certain way, and certain leagues had their pay-per-views set up, URL, King of the Dot, um, even the smaller leagues, I think um, it set a standard. And it set a routine. It was like, okay, a battle's gonna happen. You either catch the live pay per view or you wait till it gets on YouTube. That was it. That was how the money was made. It was no debate. It was no, no, this was the structure. And now I feel like people are so used to the structure that they're not thinking outside the box. But leagues are. Maybe the battle is on, maybe the fans are on, but leagues are because they're doing a lot of the business part. We're used to that routine. Oh, boom. Yeah, cast a lot of pay-per-view, $40, it's mad battles. You know, that, that format can work. But when you got 10 battles, that's 20 battlers. You understand? So with 20 battlers, you have to compensate 20 battlers. Hotels, flights, it becomes very expensive, especially for bigger leagues. Feel like you in a hamster wheel after a while, you know. So I remember with King of the Dot, we uh, experimented with me having a single VOD link. I had one. Um, rest in peace, Patch. They Patch. They had one. It was when he battled Arsenal the second time, and I battled Passwords. I think it was Passwords. So that was pretty dope. I made some decent money. I know me and Pat had spoke about it, and he made some decent money. And uh, I think people like um. Ill Mac did it after, and you know, certain people will call and inquire, and we were trying to figure that out. I don't know in the long run how that procedure went, but I know King of the Dot had a good idea of how maybe the battlers can make some extra money after the battle, which I was happy about. Oh, I could sell this link and make some extra bread after what I got paid for the battle? All right, cool. And the league did too. The question... That I have is this though. The YouTube monetization over time for battlers that have built catalogs. Like I have over 100 something battles. Battlers that have those type of catalogs and extensive catalogs on each league. If you got more than 20 battles on URL and more than 20 battles on King of the Dot and 
10 battles on Don't Flop and 10 battles on... I, you have extensive catalogs on every league. And they eat off those YouTubes a lot. So for a battler's point of view, how can I still eat off all my content over the past, me, almost 15 years? Those are the questions we got to kind of figure out. Because there's contracts. And when you sign contracts, you sign some of those rights away. But at the same time, a lot of the battlers aren't even thinking like that. Which we should. Which is why I've always said from before, like I was the first person saying, yo, there needs to be a battle rap union. There needs to be certain things in place so that you don't just get penalized and a league can just wild on you and dub you. You feel me? So these things were for those type of important reasons because a lot of battles you see easy, easy's mad. You know, he wants a YouTube drop, rightfully so. You know, at the same time, your relatives, you know, they feel their position. Yo, we made you who you are. We gave you big names. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a struggle. But what are you going to go off of? One good thing is URL has their own app. You got to go off those numbers of subscribers. You got to go off. But how do you individualize that? Smack was already lit. URL was already lit. So they was going to get a certain amount of subscriptions just for their name, for their stamp. Then how does Easy prove, yo, but I bring this so much attention, the reactions or the point? No, we're not doing that. Like, let's not, let's not do that. You know that nobody really pays attention to the votes, to the, to the, to the reactions. Like, that's not, that's not a, 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 a good way to measure what your value is. How can he prove that? I feel like if he proves it and other battlers can prove it, then, you know, then it's, it's time for a real conversation with, okay, what should battlers be compensated with? And there's always been this little thing with all the leagues and battlers where battlers feel like, yo, how much are they really making? And, you know, where do I fit in? And how do I bring that type of money? You know, how do I prove what I'm worth? I've been doing this for X amount of years. And, you know, I've done this and... Y'all congratulating a million views. What did it equate to? What does it really equate to? Me, Cortez, I have a viral clip. That Hollyhan third round is always viral. It's viral on TikTok. It's viral on certain things. How do you turn that into money? These things aren't in place for the battlers and certain things that leagues are experimenting with. They're going to take L's with and then they're going to find some dubs. And then, you know, they trying to make it work for them. Advantageous with caffeine and URL. That's a whole different thing I'm thinking about now. Because it's the same content. They charge $25 for the pay-per-view. That's not bad. $25 for a pay-per-view is not bad. <laughs> Other leagues is charging 40, 50, 60. Alright, you get a free month with the with the URL app. Still, it's $32. But if you already subscribe to the app, what is that? How does that help you? Oh, I don't have to pay for it this month. And there's no communication with nothing. It's just this is what it is. That's where the fans are mad at. So I see everybody talking, and I'm just like, yo, this is like kind of crazy. You know, there's no structure, though. This is a growing culture. In a growing culture, there's no structure. Like, like the canvas isn't really painted yet on how to make this a success. All across the board. YouTubes, um, you know, I don't think leagues utilize battlers correctly either. Like... If you treat them as a brand instead of as a battler, it would be a big difference in the star power. You have to treat your... Yorel can treat T Tay Rock as a face. That's like endorsements. That's like a, a, a shop to get things where his brand becomes bigger for him to promote his headline battle next month against such and such, such and such. Put them in that light. Why not? Especially if they're loyal and they're under contract. 
Now, once the contract is over, you got to treat this like a business. If my contract is up with the Brooklyn Nets and my contract is up, we either renegotiating or I could go to another team. That's another thing. Is it business or is it personal? Because, you, you, you know, we've had so many years invested with these people. We look at these people as friends. They are friends. Not look at. They are friends. So, yo, this is my man. But we're trying to do this as a business, too. We have to figure out how to break that chain. Because it's stuck in everybody's growth. I think the pay-per-views are good things. I think the app subscription was a good thing. I said that when I battled Head Ice in the third round. I be, I be telling y'all these things years ago. But there's no structure to it. That's, that's the only issue. And there's got to be better communication. As a battler... If I negotiate an app battle opposed to a caffeine battle, there's different pay scales. All right. So now everything is going to be streamed on a pay-per-view. Back in the day, you would negotiate your money based on the if you're selling a pay-per-view or not. So that was the initial stream of income. So now you got to tell me you're adding a pay-per-view into this too. Well, if you had this amount of money for me when you were streaming for free... With your endorsements as caffeine as a company, then how much more am I entitled to as a headline for this next event? You got to negotiate those streams of income. So as battlers, pay attention a little bit more to what's going on. As a league, it's got to be worth it. But how do you determine that? If you don't see the numbers, you don't see the pay scale, you don't see nothing. So it's getting to a point where all the like, I don't know, like everything just has to be put on the table. You know, there's a lot of secrecy in battle rap too, but it's like, if it's not your business, it's not your business either. But I don't know. You, everything has to be laid out now. You got pay-per-views, you got app subscriptions, you know what I mean? You got uh, uh, streaming platforms. You know, I still think leagues don't utilize certain things like TikTok as good or, you know, social media in general, setting up promo runs, certain things, you know what I mean, that can make the sport grow. And last but not least, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. A league has to want to do that because they love the culture. They might not do that because they only look at it as, oh, this is something that we can monetize. And the people that have money to hire forces, if they don't care about it like that because they're not fully invested as a culture, it's not going to grow. And once it stops making money, they're going to dub this shit all together. What if Smack just said, yo, man, I'm tired, bro. I spent 15 years doing this, bro. I'm clear, yo, just sell this shit. <laughs> What's going to happen to y'all? Like, for real. Y'all crazy? Nobody's thinking about stuff like that. You got to think about stuff like that. How is this culture going to grow? And on the people that are in charge, you know, they, they, they're passionate about it. You know, there's corporations now coming into it. There's new faces coming around. Where does it go from here? I feel like Dudes is making good money. Like I said, it's just structure. Like real structure. Figure out how, what your worth is. I uh, I just did um. I did shout out to I battle because I just battled Sean Gata, and he's a new up and comer. And what we did was we did a single battle sale. Four ninety nine. Hey, you want to buy this battle? And it lasts forever. Even when it hits YouTube, if my man just want to support me or somebody wants to support me, I can send them that link. Ten years from now, we'll still eat off that. That's pretty dope. Because when you get high-profile battles, you can break bread with the league off that. I think that's pretty dope. But, um, I don't know, man. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of things people can do. But, uh, you know, 
I, my, my experiences with all those leagues have been different. You know, certain things have worked, certain things the coach wasn't ready for yet. But, uh, you know, I ain't mad at it. Get your bag. You're just don't be stupid.